What's good, YouTube? This is going to be my non-spoiler review for Scream 6. For those who just want a quick review, I will say this is a strong entry into the franchise. I think they did well when it comes to giving us a new setting while also feeling like a Scream movie. I think the kills felt more brutal in this one. It uh, didn't feel like they shied away from the violence as much. It feels very high energy. It feels like it's just the pace of this is a lot faster. And there were definitely a few surprises that I personally did not see coming, so I really enjoyed the fact that it wasn't so predictable, in, in my opinion. And I think with what they did with the story, such a good job. I think the more people watch this as the years go by, I think they'll start to see how much of, a, a, like, how meta they really went with this one. Uh, so I appreciate it in this in that sense and overall I would say that it was a good movie I think that it definitely lived up to the hype. I would recommend this for anybody So definitely go check this out if you haven't already first. I want to talk about the characters I just enjoyed everybody. I thought the cast did so well, especially when it comes to the core four I mean core four for real they all did such an outstanding job just the the charisma, the personalities of the core four are just amazing. I just, I love every single one of them individually. For me, I think Chad's like my favorite. He's just an all around good dude. Just the charisma that he has. And I am just so glad that they were able to bring him back from the last one. And then you have Mindy. I just, I love how she is basically the Randy of this like new part of the franchise. It's just, she, she's so awesome. Randy was such a good character. So it just sucked when he died off. So, I mean, just to have, like, at least Mindy, you know, somebody who kind of idolizes that sort of character is just awesome to have, especially in a movie like this where you need somebody to explain the whole meta-ness of it. Then there's Jenna Ortega, who's just amazing as usual. I mean, not much to say about her. She's she's good with every every scene she's in. And Melissa Barrero, I mean, she did just as well, if not better, in this one than the last one. I think she was able to show a lot more emotion in this one as well. And just has such a strong presence anytime she's on the screen. I mean, she just pops when she's on there. And as for all the extra new characters that we ended up getting in here, I thought they did outstanding with what they did with them. I think that none of them were wasted in any way. I think they did very well in incorporating them. Now the opening, which is one of the most important parts of a Scream movie, is the opening. How do they top the ones from before? To me personally, I think this is the most different opening that they've ever had. And it also feels very fresh and exciting the way they did it. I mean, it's it's so different that you actually, like, to me personally, I was kind of shocked and started getting excited when it happened because I just was like, wait a minute, where... We're actually going into different territory here. This is this is not going to be a typical Scream movie. The best way I can describe it without like spoiling anything is loosely comparing it to the opening of The Dark Knight and how that went. That's like the same vibes that I got watching this. So when it comes to Ghostface himself and the violence, this one definitely felt a little bit more brutal than the other ones. Also, just the energy, I, I mean, I'll say it uh, again, just the energy of this movie, but specifically the energy with Ghostface just felt way more intense. I mean, the scenes, the chasing scenes, all of them were very tense, and just, it was also very classic. I mean, it's, they, they felt so much like Scream Chases. Probably the best part about Ghostface is the voice. I The voice and the dialogue that uh, they do here is just, I mean, it's one of the most iconic voices it's becoming because it's so good. Just anytime he is calling and talking to people and just the witty banter back and forth of how he talks about murdering them or just, just how he goes about uh, playing with them is just, it's so good. I mean, it's so creepy, but yet so menacing, which just adds to how, you know, the violence is in this one where it is a lot more brutal than I'd say the previous ones it does not shy away at all from <laughs> a lot of the violent parts i think the idea of this taking place in new york was integrated very well definitely better than one previously known to do so I thought they did a great job at just tying it into the whole story aspect of it taking place in New York and just the actual idea of giving us a bigger feeling of a setting rather than a small town in like Woodsboro. It just, it felt, it felt that much bigger. The scale of it felt that much bigger. And not only that, but they definitely do make it like, you do feel like you're in New York. It doesn't just 
say they, they it takes place in New York, and then you're in like a building here and a building there. Like it, you really do feel like you're running around New York City. The meta ness, as usual, the meta is just sprinkled in along with just a ton of nostalgia, just moments like parts at the end. Without giving any spoilers away, I feel like it just. They take that meta-ness to a new level, and it just feels like the more of these they make, the more creative that they're going to get if they do it right, and it's just it's just exciting. <laughs> now, no spoilers when it comes to the twist and reveal and everything. I feel like it was definitely, for me, it was a shocking kind of turn. Uh, there's, you know, there's a moment where, I, you know, it, it has you thinking this, and then immediately I'm, like, thinking how, how, how. And then all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you get hit with more information and then then you're just kind of taken it back again. I think with what Scream is known for and how they do these movies, I think they definitely did a, a good job when it comes to honoring that whole idea. They didn't do anything that was so out of the ordinary or so different that you kind of felt like this wasn't a Scream movie anymore. It felt exactly like a Scream movie. Which brings me to the overall ending. I think when it comes to the ending, considering Scream 7 is already greenlit, I personally don't know where they would take it at this point. I think they made it where they have more than just one option though, but really just makes me more excited to see what they end up coming up with. Being this many movies deep in a already meta style slasher, I could only imagine how creative they will have to get for the next one. And just really curious to see like where it's going to take place. When it comes to ranking this movie among all the movies that I've seen this year, I gotta place it in that one spot. I, I just think it deserves to be there. It's something that I'll probably actually end up buying when it comes out. And I think it's, I'm definitely going to recommend this to anybody. Uh, that I see. I would probably definitely end up re-watching this as well. And for some reason, I don't know what it is about this year, but I mean, horror is killing it in my opinion, because when it comes to rankings, I got, you know, Megan, Knock at the Cabin, now Scream 6, all his number ones, all horror movies. I don't know what that says about me, but I just think that they've done an outstanding job when it comes to that genre this year. But that's going to do it for my Scream 6 review. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope that you watched it. If you did up until this point, you're awesome. I appreciate it. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps out. And if you want to see more of my videos, just subscribe and I will see you in those. Until then, take it easy.